Okay? Okay, so let me give you a breakdown of what a group landing page or home page looks like. And the reason I'm doing this is because I had mentioned before that part of your web page is generated for you when you start to create content pages, but also it's part of a delivered theme. So some of the look and feel is also going to be um, set for you as well. And I want to give you an idea of what those are. So we start with the header at the top. The Cal State University Northridge word mark is a hyperlink to the home page. And that is going to be part of the delivered theme that you get every time you create a web page. It's up to your area to then create the secondary word mark, which is, in our case, information technology. That is also a hyperlink to your group landing page. And you can use that link on any of the pages throughout your site. There is a white space there for a third or tertiary word mark uh, that you have an option to also use for that. The utility links are part of the delivered theme. Something different uh, is the, the hyperlink that says directory. Currently, we're, it says people finder, but it is the same thing. So that will always display for you as well. Right below that is the primary navigation bar. This is also delivered to you in terms of the color and the fact that it goes all the way across the board. But what is up to you to decide is what links you want to place in the primary navigation bar. You can have up to a maximum of seven, but seven only. Okay? The next thing is this is called the banner or the banner. It's a slideshow or it can be one static image created for you. What's delivered to you here as part of the theme is the width of the banner. But it's up to you to decide how high you want these images to be. Um, you can have up to six, uh, six images that rotate automatically about every five seconds, but these are also controls so that the user can um, click their way through the banner images. And on the banner images themselves are hyperlinks to other, you know, relatable information and web pages. Something optional for you to consider is constituency navigation. If you do decide to do constituency navigation, Part of the theme is that it will be a gray uh, a navigation bar. And this resides only on the group landing page. So once you navigate away from this, the constituency nav does go away. But when we were designing our own site for IT, we kind of tried to think about how a user would navigate our site. And we knew that they would be wanting to navigate it by topics, which is why we did the primary nav at the top. But also, maybe they want to step in the shoes of their own role and navigate as, you know, their role. So me as a staff member, maybe I just want to get rid of all the information that doesn't pertain to me, and I want to start with those web pages that are staff-related web pages. These could also be subtopics. Maybe you want to break down some of those main primary nav and decide to do subtopics. You can have up to five links on the constituency nav. So what you're looking, out, looking at here, too, is the three-column layout. So we chose to do a three-column layout. It's up to you how you want yours to look. Uh, on the left-hand side here, we do have a quick links that, constant, that remains constant. So this is another source of navigation throughout our own IT site. You can set up hyperlinks, or you can do little bits of uh, content information, just like the... the column on the right displays. It's really up to you how you want to design your columns. And then in the, mo in the middle is the body of our main uh, group landing page. We decided that we wanted uh, current content, current that refreshes itself, that's new, that might draw in, draw in users to visit our group landing page. So we decided to bring in one of our content types, which is called a news content type. And we decided to bring it into the body of our main uh, group landing page so that uh, it will feature all of the brand new items that we have here in IT. The very last thing that I'll scroll down to show you is the footer. So the footer will be delivered to you with all of these links that you see here. And there's uh, links like the privacy policy, emergency information, all of that stuff is going to be delivered when you create a web page. But you do have the option to add two additional links 
of your choice. And that's the basics of a group landing page and the theme behind it and what will be delivered and, and what you can customize. Do you have questions about that? Okay. Have you had the rundown of the group landing page yet or how the theme or anything like that?